Oslo Reuters Transocean Rig, NRIGNS, one of the world's biggest drilling rig operators, has agreed to buy Norwegian competitor Songa Offshore Song, all for 9.1 billion crowns, $1.1 billion, the latest in a series of transactions reshaping the industry. The purchase, to be mostly paid for in shares and convertible bonds, follows in scope PLC SESV, an acquisition of smaller drilling rival Atwood Oceanics in KTW, and in an Allstock deal valued at about $839 million in May. It also boosts Swiss-based Transocean's position in drilling in harsh climates such as the Arctic, as Songa is Norwegian oil major Statoil's STL, all top drilling service provider. The offer values Songa shares at 47.50 Norwegian crowns each, a 39.7% premium over Monday's closing price, the two companies said in a joint statement on Tuesday. It the Transocean deal is a sign that we are near the bottom of the market, and people don't expect asset prices to fall much further, Swedbank analyst Magnus Olsvik said. For Transocean, it's a strategic acquisition, he added. The deal boosts Transocean's position in harsh environment drilling and increases its order book by $4.1 billion to $14.3 billion. Four out of seven Songa rigs are on long-term contracts with Statoil, making the deal especially attractive. Including debt, the transaction sets Songa's enterprise value at 26.4 billion crowns, or close to $3.4 billion. Songa shares saw shares in Songa surged 35% on news of the deal, which needs the backing of at least 90% of Songa shareholders. About 77% of shareholders have so far agreed to the offer, the company said. By 12.28 GMT, Songa shares were up 30.3% at 44.3 crowns, the highest since March 2016. Songa's biggest shareholder, Perestroika, owned by Norwegian investor Frederick Wilhelm Mohn, would become the largest shareholder in Transocean as a result of the acquisition with a stake of about 12%, the firm said. Mohn, chairman of Songa, will be nominated for a seat on Transocean's board. In March, Transocean sold its fleet of shallow water jack-up rigs to Norway's bore drilling BORR, NFF for $1.35 billion, saying it wanted to focus on its core deep and ultra-deep water rig market. The latest deal comes at a time of upheaval in the industry, with rival deepwater rig firm Seadrill SDRL, all undergoing a restructuring of debt and liabilities amounting to some $14 billion, while newcomers such as Bore scoop up cheap assets. Schlumberger SLB, N, the world's top oil field services provider, has taken a 20% stake in Bore, which plans to list on the Oslo exchange by the end of the third quarter. Asked whether he saw more rig acquisition targets in Norway, Swedbank Solsvik said off Jill drilling ODLL, all is an obvious acquisition target, but there are no such good matches as in the case of Transocean and Songa offshore. Reporting by Terji Solsvik Editing by Dale Hudson and Edmund Blair